stuck? Yeah. Why do people get stuck? With that saying, why do you think that people get, it's a comfort zone, but what do you, what do you think? You, you, you think it's just something that they're so accustomed to doing to they're just comfortable with it? Yeah. Change means pain. Mm -hmm. At some point in any change, you're going to have a period of pain. And that pain in and of itself is something that most people run from. Mm -hmm. The idea that, oh my God, I may not be able to pay my bills if I step out on faith scares everybody. But the difference between those people who are extremely successful and those people who are marginally successful is we know how to navigate that pain. We figured out that, oh, I may not be able to eat at the best restaurant for a few weeks, but long term, I'll be able to eat anywhere I want to go. So you have to make a certain short-term sacrifice, and that's the endurance of pain, to get to the fulfillment of success. I always tell people, my best example is when you work out, you tear down your muscles. Mm -hmm. And when you tear down your muscles, it hurts, it aches. But the more you work at it, the more you build it up, your muscles start to build up a resistance. And that's what you're trying to build up, is a resistance to those things that keep you from being successful. And that's why you have to make it a daily habit. So for those people who are stuck, it's because they're like a hamster in a wheel. Mm -hmm. If you put a hamster in a cage and give him a wheel, that hamster is going to continually go around that wheel. You pull that hamster out, give him a few days, and put him in a maze, then they'll start to look and search for where the maze takes them. That's life. As long as you decide to stay in that cage and be a hamster in the wheel, you're going to go round and around and see the exact same thing. We always say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over and over, but expecting a different result. Exactly. You've got to look at your life like a maze. How can I get to that new place? How can I get what I want? Most people are afraid to go and get what they want. And so one of the things, one of the primary reasons why I decided to write more it's because I believe that I have the gift of giving people an understanding of what they need and the courage mm -hmm. to step out of that zone.